time. So 22 Celsius or so likely on Sunday afternoon. Now the north, Scotland and Northern Ireland still sitting there in the mid to the high teens. Further ahead for Monday into Tuesday, one or two showers lingering across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland for a time. England and Wales should be drying up. A return to some brighter conditions and those temperatures on the rise too. By the middle part of next week, we could well see temperatures 24 or 25 degrees or so. You can find a full 14-day weather forecast on our website. BA could face a fine of hundreds of millions of pounds for the huge data breach affecting thousands of customers. The airline has apologised for the hack of personal and financial details and says customers will be compensated, but some say they struggled to get information. It was really annoying uh, trying to find uh, a, a way of, of, of contacting British Airways to see if all my cards had been compromised. We'll find out what the breach means for the airline and its customers. Also tonight, no-fault divorces could be introduced in England and Wales. Ministers say they want to reduce the animosity when married couples want to separate. A special report from Libya, where a fragile ceasefire in Tripoli appears to be holding. Clearing our seas of plastic, we hear about the first attempt to get into the Pacific Ocean to dredge for rubbish. And a half century for Alistair Cook as he shines with the bat against India in his last ever test match. And coming up on BBC News, the new restructured women's Super League season gets underway this weekend with champions Chelsea against Manchester City, the pick of the round. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the BBC News at six. British Airways could be fined as much as £500 million for a huge data breach which has affected tens of thousands of people. Hackers managed to access details of 380,000 bookings made with the airline over a two-week period. BA says personal and financial details have been compromised, although passport information hasn't. It says any customer who's been affected financially will be compensated. Many have been forced to cancel their credit and debit cards. Here's our business correspondent, Emma Simpson. The time is quarter past six. Our top story tonight. BA could face a fine of hundreds of millions of pounds after a huge data breach affecting thousands of customers. And still to come, we speak to the Queen's granddaughter, Zara Tyndall, about the highs and lows of family life. Coming up on Sports Day on BBC News, we know Serena Williams has made the women's final at the US Open, but who will make the men's at Flushing Meadows? We'll be looking ahead in New York. Every year, millions of tonnes of plastic waste flow into the sea around the world. Now, for the first time, there's going to be an attempt to get into the middle of the Pacific Ocean to try to clean it. In the biggest operation of its kind, a huge plastic collection system will be towed out from California tomorrow. Our science editor, David Shookman, explains. Looking at the high teens further north, but it does look like high pressure will start to build in from the south into next week, so those temperatures will be on the rise. And Jane, we could see temperatures as high as around 24 or 25 in the middle of next week. Excellent. Hold you to it. Thank you very much. Sarah Keith Lucas, thank you with the weather. And just a reminder of our top story tonight. BA could face a fine of hundreds of millions of pounds after a major data breach involving the personal and financial details of thousands of its customers. 
And that is all from the news at six. So it's goodbye from the team here on BBC One. We'll join the BBC's news teams wherever you are. Good night. Well, she's great fun, Princess Margaret. She's quite naughty. But the Queen was always saying, Margaret, what are you doing? She was the Queen's sister, but she did a lot of things that the rest of the family didn't do. Mystique is somewhere pitched between Ibiza and Balmoral. Behind the public figure is a story of glamour, duty and defiance. Princess Margaret, the Rebel Royal, starts Tuesday at 9 on BBC Two. Follow the story, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. You can follow every moment in depth with BBC News. Get the full story at bbc.co.uk forward slash news. Get the headlines as they happen with the breaking news alert. And keep up with events by watching the BBC News channel in the app. Follow the story wherever you are with BBC News. You're watching BBC News with me, Rachel Schofield. Here's a look at our headlines. BA says sorry after a mass hack of data from its customers. Nearly 400,000 payment cards have been compromised. No fault divorces are being considered by the government in what would be the biggest change to the law in this area for almost 50 years. The Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, has rejected an attack on him by the former Prime Minister, Tony Blair. Mr Blair said Labour had become a different party and he's not sure it can ever be taken back by moderates. In the biggest operation of its kind, a huge plastic collection system will be towed out from California tomorrow to try and clean up the Pacific Ocean. Now, in a moment, it will be time for Sports Day. But first, a quick look at what else is coming up for you this evening here on BBC News. Just after 7 o'clock, we'll be speaking to a divorce lawyer about that prospect of the government changing the law to allow no-fault divorces. We'll bring you the latest on the stabbing of a far-right presidential candidate in Brazil. And at 10.40 and 11.30, we'll bring you the paper review. This evening's guests, the independents John Rental and Henry Zeffman from The Times. So that's all coming up for you, but now, though, on BBC News, it's time for Sports Day. Hello, welcome to Sports Day with me, Will Perry. The headlines for you this evening. Bowing